So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about what I use to catch my skipjack. Now, I understand that there are some body, people watching this who might not have skipjack in their body of water, but if you ever come to Ohio River, Tennessee River, Cumberland River, Mississippi River, you know, skipjack is king most of the time. So my favorite thing to use, you can buy at Walmart, at least my local Walmarts carry it. Uh, I've seen a very, a bunch of different Walmarts, but would be what I call a shiny hiney. So <clears throat> these are basically crappie jigs, but, and you can use any style of crappie jigs, but the shiny hiney seem to have, and they just seem to work very well for me. I don't know if it has, you know, if you look inside the jigs itself, can see you can see in the light they have have the glitter the flash in them and I think that really attracts the skipjack um, my my three favorite colors now they make a bunch of different colors I mean I got some some orange ones here uh, pink I know they make some like pink and black they make some a uh, bunch of different colors but my my three favorite colors would be the white ones the be and then these blackhead ones with with that green tail on them and then this is more like a chartreuse type color that has you know the head and body match so what i do with those is i actually will tie one of each color so i'll put three jigs on a rig so i'll tie one of each color in a row so how do i do that so the other couple items i use um and you can use this is just the size I use. You can use them. You probably don't need them this big, to be honest with you. But I just use a rolling swivel, you know, one on. You know, I keep a little bag of these. And then uh, something called a, you know, it's like a rolling snap swivel that I put on the end of where I'm going to put my weight. So that's kind of it right there. So you can kind of take weights on and off. Um, things like that. Because I usually don't keep the weight on there just because it bangs, it bangs around. And I don't like that banging around on my rod. You can do that. Um, my line I'll use, um, I usually use 25 or 30 pound test. The reason why I'll use that in case, you know, you have three jigs on there, you could possibly catch three skipjack. So, and if they're three big skipjack, you don't want your line breaking. So I just use, I just have a roll of this 30 pound test I keep at the house to make rigs. And what I do is as I'm making rigs, you know, I'll just sit down on the couch, you know, turn on the TV or just listen to some music and make a bunch of rigs. So, and I put them in these binders. You know, these Bass Pro binders, these worm binders at Bass Pros are great for storing stuff like this. Cause then you can just stack, you can just stack them in there. You know, I need to make some, I'm getting pretty low, but I just put them in there like that. That way they're all together and they can just, uh, you know, you can just grab and go. It's, you know, that's the way when you're on the water, something happens, a rig gets tangled, a hook gets broke off. But whatever happens to that rig, you can easily just cut it off, go, and you're back fishing within a couple minutes. You know, time on the water, you want to save, do as much prep ahead of time, especially in bait. You know, you might only get, you know, an hour where them skipjack are biting, and you don't have time to sit there and mess around trying to retie rigs and stuff like that, or they can move on you and things like that. So, so what I'll do is I'll get my 30 pound test, and basically I'll grab an end and I will stretch. You won't use this much line, but I will stretch it my arm length and then I cut it. <clears throat> and, well, let me redo that again. I just dropped the part I cut, but we'll get that. All right. So then, um, I just go ahead and tie my, you know, my barrel swivel, rolling swivel, barrel swivel, whatever you want to call them on there. And guys, use whatever knot you're comfortable with. You know, the knot I use might not be the knot you're comfortable with. If, um, if you want me to go in a future video on tying knots, I definitely will. But if you ever tighten on a knot, make sure you wet it first because that mono, you know, it'll help cinch your knot. So then I'll just grab whatever your first one you want to use and I will slide it through and then I will take it, slide it all the way up towards my barrel swivel. So now what I do is just, I'll just make a, a knot and I just make two overhand knots right there in the line. 
So basically I'll take it, it's just sitting there, there's my barrel swivel. And then I'll just make an overhand. As long as I can get a hold of it here. Overhand knot like that, I wet it. And then I'll make another overhand knot. Now, you, I mean, you can time like a sabiki if you want to, if, if that's, but I think these are easier and I've never had a problem with them. So now I just tie another. Do not like that. And then there's, there's my first jig sitting in the line. So then I'll grab my next color. And this is no particular order on color. You know, the three, three colors. You can use all the same colors if you want to. You know, that's just you. That's just you. So I just grab my next one. Um, one knot. Two. And to me, I don't think it matters how close they are together. You don't have to have them exactly the same distance apart from one another. Um, I've, you know, skipjack are going to hit them. It don't matter. You could have them almost next to each other and you can still catch two skipjack on it. You know, they're pretty, when they're feeding, they're pretty ferocious. All right, and the next one. Come here, fella. So now I got my three jigs, my three jigs in line like this. Um, and my next step is to grab my, I, I guess it's called a, a rolling snap swivel. I don't know. I mean, that's what it looks like. And you can just use a regular snap. Um, I might have some in here. I'll show you in a second. You don't have to use this bigger one for sure. This is just what I had sitting around. So then I'll tie this on, on the back, just like that. So here's my jigs and this sits on the back. And then depending on how far you might have to cast or anything like that. <clears throat> you know, uh, I'll usually use just little egg, little eggs, you can buy these on Walmart too. You know, and I just put it right on the back. Okay, right on that. That way sometimes, you know, you might need to get farther, you might need to add a second one on the back of there. Then it's on the back of there, and then there is a full skipjack rig. It's hard, it's hard to tell if you can see it or not. But uh, that is what I use. Um, you can use, I think I had some here. You know, just regular, you know, fast lock snaps and just tie it on the back. You know, it don't have to have the swivel on it because you have the swivel up top. So, and it doesn't really get tangled up very often, but, but that is my skipjack rig. So if you guys have any questions or you need me to go over something a little bit more in detail, um, just leave a comment in the comment section and I'll get back with you. All right, guys, finally, finally landed one. So we'll see if we can get some more. Maybe hammer that thing. Nice skip. So my, my, my partner in crime, Hanker, is here today. Good one there. Yep, that's a good one there. Can't lose him. Oh yeah. That's a big boy. That's two on pink, huh? Ankles, we have you with skipjack. You like them pink today. That's another reason why I want to run three colors. 
if there's one color they like, you know what I mean? You're not going to do it if you're running all whites. Or you're running a, 